Hello. In this video, I'm going to tell you about important new changes to the legal options for Venezuelans outside of the United States who may hope to come to the United States. Note, if you are Venezuelan but currently in the United States, this news does not impact you or any legal case you have directly. But these changes might be very important to your friends and loved ones who are outside of the United States. And if you are not Venezuelan, this news also does not affect you directly. But you can find many other helpful resources about asylum, work permits, and other important topics on our ASAP website. See the description below this video or the top pinned comment for that link. So, if you are a citizen of Venezuela who is currently in any country outside of the United States, what has changed about your options? First, there is a new process for some Venezuelans and their family members who are outside of the United States to get a special authorization to travel by plane to the United States and a temporary status called parole for up to two years. At the moment, the process will be limited to up to 24,000 Venezuelans and only people who have a financial sponsor in the United States. The bad news is that at the same time, the United States government is now refusing to allow most Venezuelans who arrive by land at the United States border with Mexico after October 19, 2022 to enter the United States to request asylum. This applies even if you come to a bridge or other official port of entry. We at ASAP hope that parts of the new process will be helpful to some Venezuelans, but we do not agree with the changes that limit asylum. We will continue to fight for the right of people from all countries to request asylum. So, who is eligible for the new process for some Venezuelans to come to the United States by airplane? You might be eligible for the new process if you are a citizen of Venezuela, you are currently anywhere in the world other than the United States, and someone with lawful status in the United States is willing to be your financial supporter and initiate the process for you. But you will be excluded from the new process if you cross the border into the United States, Mexico, or Panama without documents after October 19, 2022, you have been deported from the United States within the past five years, or you are a Venezuelan who has dual citizenship or permanent residence in another country. However, in that last situation, there might still be a way for you to come because certain family members can travel together with other Venezuelan citizens who do qualify. In this short video, we will not describe all the details of the process. To learn more, like how to apply, who can be a sponsor, and what family members qualify to travel with you, please follow the link in the description section of this video or the first comment that we have pinned to the top of the comments to read more. Thank you for watching this video and for being part of the ASAP community.